Oh! Hi! Uh, what do you want, huh? I don't want you to be scary, but if you're gonna be scary, can you do that on your own time? Hmm? Can you do that on your own time? What's going on, this is Johnny, and welcome to Veil. Vale. This is a horror game, a little short horror game, okay? Uh, Veil's intended to be finished in one sting, or progress will not be saved. Okay, you don't gotta tell me twice, I get it, dude. We're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna finish this up. But supposedly, this game is difficult. So I have a little walkthrough, and I'm just gonna walk through it um, with the walkthrough up, because apparently, like, this is a difficult game to kind of figure out on your own. And, um, I kind of just wanna, I actually do wanna beat it, so. We're just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have it to my right, and we're just gonna just run through it together, okay? Yeah. But first of all, I ain't sleeping with rituals next to me. Like, all, all of these rituals, nah. Okay, no, not doing it. That's way too much for me. Can you get up? We get it. All right, you wake up in the basement, walk upstairs, and head to the dining room right off the rip. Okay, you have, you have a cell phone. You are not alone, I am near. What? I'm just gonna put okay. Okay. What do you not, do I actually need a reply? Like, I don't. Alright, up, down, up, down. Let's go ahead and sync that up. Okay. Alright, okay, so we gotta run up the stairs and head to the dining room. My gosh, dude, there's so many little, like, little ritual type things. Also, my uh, air conditioner is on. It's it's hot in here. I'm gonna, go ahead and, I'm gonna lock all these. Dude, there's another rich one here too in the bathroom. Okay, head to the dining room and pick up the grimoire from the table. This is the grimoire. I'm gonna guess right. Tab to view grimoire. Okay, we have a text message. I did not leave the book in that condition. Okay, I don't, I'm not sure who I'm talking to, but we just gonna. Relax. The, uh, the delish delin, del, delineations of the chapels. I'm not sure if I read that right, but whatever. So what is that accurate? Okay. I don't. I don't know what this means. Okay. I don't. I don't. I, listen. That's fine. Cool. All right. It's a uh, chapel of focus. Go upstairs to the second floor. Turn off. Turn left at the top of the stairs and take the last door on the right. This is the playroom. Okay. So there's more stairs somewhere. I don't know what I'm doing. Man, how about who's texting me? Do you remember this place? No. I don't. I don't remember this place at all. Yo, this is weird. Yo, it's getting creepy. Alright. Turn left at the top of the stairs and take the last door on the right. So right here. It's the playroom. Um... Walk clockways in the shape of a triangle in the middle of the room. You should see the shape appear at the floor as you begin moving. Once you complete the shape, a grimoire page will appear in the middle of the floor. Pick it up. Okay, so we're going to go clockwise. Oh, actually, it's this way. I'm an idiot. There we go. There we go, baby. Clockwise. All right, then once we get the freaking page, pick it up. Then we got to look at it. Um, was this it? Okay, cool. Head down to the basement. Walk, walk clockwise in the shape of a square. Wait, I'm not sure if I have to go in there right now, but we're gonna wait. Um, in the center room, round where you woke up, you should see the square begin to fade in as you walk. Pick up the grimoire page. Okay, so it's, I guess it's just a lot of just completing the rituals. Ooh, this is getting scary. This is getting super scary, dude. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. I don't trust anything. Okay, so head to the basement, walk clockwise. In the in the shape of a square. Okay. So it's this one. And we're gonna go ahead. Oh, right there. Yep, yep, yep. I'm gonna keep running out clockwise until the page appears. And then bada freaking bing. We good to go. Pick the page up. Alright. Um, ahead of the living room, walk clockwise. Okay, so we're just gonna keep completing the delineation delineation of chapels. I'm not sure if I've said that word right, but we're gonna just run with it, okay? I'm not gonna get chased or anything, because I can't handle that. Too much for me. Um, walk clockwise in the shape of a circle. Okay.
Okay, so we're gonna run this one. This one. Okay, so now it's appearing. And I guess we just keep doing this until another page appears. If you think I'm gonna freaking... You think I'm gonna freaking... Look and read all that stuff, you're wrong. You see the circle appear. Once you've activated all the three travels, once the designs living room floor will light up. Wait, what? Wait. You just see this circle appear as you start walking. Once you've activated all three chapels, one of the designs of the living room. Okay, so that one right there lit up. Got it. Um, all right. Now we can go to the Sacrament of Light. Head to the office on the first floor. You can get there through the door to the left and the stairs to the second floor. Door will be locked until you complete the station of chapels. Okay, so what now? Head to the office on the first floor. You can get there through the door to the left of the stairs to the second floor. What? I'm gonna guess it's over here, maybe? I'm not sure where it's at. I'm not sure. I, I'm confused, to be honest. Yep. It's for sure this one, dude. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, in the office, you'll see five candles on the desk. These candles right here. Uh, consider the number from one to five left to right and light them in the following order. Order. Now, nah, gotta close that. Okay. Okay, cause just, just, just don't do that. Okay, thank you. All right, from left to right, one to five. Okay, and it's three, one, four, two, five. So three, one, four, two, five. About a freaking bing. Stop opening the door, ghost. We are you having that? The cans rotate to reveal symbols to consider these symbols to represent the numbers one through five from left to right. The invocation of name. You will need to find blocks with letters on them around the house. You can find them in the following locations. In the living room behind the overturned chair beside the television. Okay, so now we can go that way. Okay, so now we gotta find these little blocks. Um, overturned chair beside the television. Right here. Um, we actually have text messages. A fragment so would Wait, how long have you been in this place? This is the longest hallway in my house. If I was afraid to where your child found joy, I'm just gonna put okay and get it going. All right. Okay, so now we gotta go in the kitchen on the counter behind the refrigerator, and that will be the, the second uh, block. I mean, I'm figuring this out by myself, I would have not been able to do it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna take too much time. To figure it out. So in the downstairs bathroom and the bathtub, the downstairs in the basement, or is it in this one? Yeah, right here. Okay. Um, in the basement on the shelves. So we'll go ahead and run down that way. In the master bedroom on the right beside table, right right bedside table. Go ahead and run down. I can't run, so better run. Oh. Hi! Uh, what do you want, huh? I don't want you to be scary, but if you're gonna be scary, can you do that on your own time? Hmm? Can you do that on your own time? Okay. I'm gonna come in here and get your little, little block. Give me that. Okay. And in the master bedroom on the right side, bedside table. <gasps> okay! Okay, things are getting crazy. I don't like not being able to pay attention. And then things happen. Okay, so this is the place. In the red right bedside table. Okay, we get it. Alright, we get it. I ain't afraid of you. Ooh, I don't like it. Ooh, I don't like it. Ooh, I don't like it. Pick that up. Okay. When you interact with the block, it will transport it in the playroom. playroom. Once you find all five, go to the playroom and raise the window blinds to the right of the door. The movement will change the letters on the blocks and then to numbers. Remember the sequence. Okay, so right here. Can't go that way. Ah. Hey! Don't yeet that thing off the freaking wall! Okay? I don't have time for that. Close, 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 close that. Close that. Alright. 
Um, and, okay, and right before, when you find all five, go to the playroom and raise the window blinds to the right of the door. The right of the door. So this one. And it's gonna give me some numbers. Three five one two four. Three five one two four. Three five one two four. Okay. Okay. Art. Whatever. Okay, we're almost done actually. Um, you can find the scrimmore page in the living room after completing the sacrament of light and invocation in the room. Go to the upstairs bedroom. What's happening? Okay, three, five, one, two, four. What, what, I gotta do something with these numbers. I don't. It's not saying thing on the thing. Okay. You can find this this grimoire page in the living room after completing the sacrament of light and the invocation of the name. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, pick this up. One more page added. Text message incoming. I can see you move. I can hear you breathe. Well, don't. Don't, okay? Okay? Well, don't. Thank you. Send that. I don't have that kind of time right now. Okay, we get it. All right. Okay, so now we got that. Go to the upstairs bathroom and kneel in front of the bathtub until you hear the door slam shut. Is it up here or the middle bedroom? I'm gonna go ahead and go to the one over here just because it's kind of closer. And we're just gonna kind of hope that it's this one. Oh my god. Anyway, go... and kneel in front of the bathtub until you hear the door slam shut. Okay, so let's go ahead and go upstairs. It wasn't that one. I couldn't, I didn't have any, uh, thing. What's that? What, what are these little pages? Okay. This is a nice house, though. I don't think I'd be trying to get demons in my freaking house like that, though. Okay, where's the bathroom, then? Is it this one in here, maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Is it not? Th yep, it's this one. Okay, that one slammed shut. Open the door. The house rooms will be rearranged. Uh, open the door. The house rooms will be rearranged, and the bathroom door will now lead to the kitchen. You'll want to pass through the doors with symbols near them. To know the correct order, you will have to rearrange to rearrange the symbols from the candles in order according to the numbers of the blocks. The correct order is as follows: Go through the bathroom door into the kitchen. Okay. Turn left immediately and go through the door into the upstairs hallway. Okay, go downstairs and go right to the office door into the upstairs hallway. Okay. Turn left immediately and go through the last door on the left. Go into, wait, wait, wait. Turn left and then go through the last door on the right into the basement stairwell. Wait. Basement stairwell. So this one. Boom. Okay, so now I gotta scroll on the page. Um. Go through the door on the bottom of the stairs into the void. Into the void. Boom. Go through the door at the end of the static bridge into the nursery. Man, dude, I would, there would be no way possible of me figuring this out by myself. This would have been a 15 minute video of me walking around. So I'm kind of glad that they actually have this little walkthrough. Um, into the nursery. Grab the grimoire page that appears in the chain, the chaining table. The blind, the binding of the worlds. Go to the dining room, walk up to the wall, and text rebirth. How am I supposed to figure that out? Okay. Walk up to the wall. Wait, go to the dining room, walk up to the wall, and text rebirth. Walk up to the wall. The dining room, so this one. Walk up to the wall. This one right here. 
and then type in rebirth boom got it okay um go to the master bedroom and walk up to the wall and text innocence master bedroom and okay so the master bedroom was upstairs i think so we're gonna go up there and we're gonna type in innocence so the master bedroom should be right here we're gonna... okay okay relax with this okay and we're gonna call this innocence n o sense Okay, go to the basement, walk up to the wall, and text a ethereal. 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 I uh, wish I could run. I'm kind of glad we can't just because. Alright. Ethereal. Go down. Okay, so the basement and text ethereal. Gotta tell me three more times for me to actually figure that out. Here's the wall. Ooh, which wall though? Which one? Ethereal. Which one? That one or that one? Or that one or that one? I don't think it really matters. Does it matter? I, don't, I hope not. Ethereal. Boom. Does it matter which one? Or do I need to do all of them? Oh. Oh, oh, I don't like it. Oh, I don't like it. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Go downstairs basement. And walk up to the wall and text absolution. Absolution to the wall. Right here. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Hi. Okay. And then we're going to do text open the door how am i supposed to figure that out beg please boom okay then now it says head upstairs to the nursery and interact with the baby the nursery was right here. Oh my god. So I did all that to get my baby back. Oh man, F that noise. Okay, I can't do a thing. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh, it just ends. Okay. Alright everybody, this was Veiled. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. As always, guys, my name is Johnny, and I'll see you guys in the next video. But, there would be no way possible for me to actually figure all this out. So this was like a walkthrough, um, let's play. If you guys enjoyed it, also, just make sure to do the YouTube thing. It helps me out so much to grow, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a new video. Look out for me, myself, and I. Look out for me, myself, and I.